actually going to go back to one that we've already did, the sponge candy. Oh, this was requested by Kathleen. Buffalo sponge candy, which looks different than what we've done before. Um, it has a lot of the same ingredients, corn syrup, baking soda, gelatin, which was very hard to find during a pandemic. I guess people make sanitizer from it. Sugar and water. Candy thermometer is back. First direction, you need a nine by nine pan, and it says to line it with parchment paper. Um, We'll worry about that at a later time. It says in a small bowl, cold water, gelatin that's unflavored. Allow to bloom. I have no clue what I'm looking for. All right, so while that's blooming, in a saucepan, we're gonna mix our sugar, corn syrup, water. Stir until sugar dissolves and mixture comes to a boil. Okay, it's starting to boil. Do not stir while it's boiling. Once it hits 310 degrees, we're gonna remove it from the heat, but you're gonna keep the burner still on. All right, we're at 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Take the candy thermometer out. We are going to move this off and let it sit for two minutes without disturbing it. All right, so now we have to add that gelatin mixture that we had. It said to whisk. This burner is... Ooh. Add the baking syrup, sprinkle in, and whisk vigorously, and return it to the heat. Now whisk it vigorously, and it's not popping up like it should. It says the sugar will expand for 30 seconds. We'll let it go a little more. Oh geez, how long do I let this go? Oh, um, it just says it will expand, and quickly pour it into the prepared pan. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh shoot, oh Jesus, I have to know. What is this? Well, that is definitely different from the last time. Okay, so we let it sit for like two hours and let it cool. All right, so it's been two hours. Oh, wow, it looks pretty good. It did say that this was a messy process. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, that's not working. Definitely not gonna be perfect squares. I have dirt here. <laughs> it's like eating cotton candy and styrofoam. I mean, the taste is really good. It looks like it did in the picture. I can't chew it. Is the end different? Nope, not. The middle is good, like this part, but like burnt. Ooh, this is different. And yep, maybe when we dip it in chocolate, it'll be different. While I'm cutting this, I made a double boiler over here. So I took a pot, I put a little water in it. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna put some chocolate chips. And I use a little Crisco because it makes it a little thinner. So I'm just gonna use one bag and a little Crisco. So I melted my chocolate and I'm just gonna dip it in the chocolate. Use my spoons to help make sure all the areas are covered. Lay it on a bunch of paper. Okay, so these are the pieces that I did. Um, we're gonna put them in the fridge and let them chill, let the, the chocolate harden, and we'll taste one and we'll see if it's changed. <laughs> it's been in the fridge for a little bit. All okay. right, it's better with the chocolate. It's so cool and sticky, <laughs> but it's much better with the chocolate. Will you bring this when you come? Yeah. Okay, don't forget it. Did you get a good part? A very tiny one, and it lasted a second.